we would not let the police tell us the details because apparently it was very gruesome. Just terrible. The terrible. So we didn't want to know. But that's domestic violence. That's the reality of police come home. The scene is probably one of the uh, most horrific I've seen in my career as a police officer, and I've been to hundreds, probably a few hundred murder scenes. And uh, that's the charge of indignity, indignity to a human body. I won't be able to obviously comment on exactly what was done, but I think that it's, uh, unfortunately, it's going to be very shocking. Yeah. She checked in every day, so when she didn't check in on Monday and by Tuesday morning, that's when we knew something was wrong. I was on my way up to her apartment, and I just turned off 95th Street onto 107th Avenue, and I heard in the radio there was a homicide, and there was, oh, 106th and 104th, and it was all closed off, and I had to pull over and puke. I just knew. She, um, she loved to watch movies. Yeah. But she, she was like very... Like she worked so much, she was yeah. pretty much a homebody. Yeah, yeah. But she always kept in touch with family and friends. Yeah. yeah. She was just my sweetheart, you know. In my eyes, she could do no wrong. 